Hey friends, this is Charmaine and welcome to apartment 12. So for week 27, I was unfortunately not able to take a video of my process. I have a bunch of reasons. Uni was about to start, I had loads to do, and I was actually doing a rehaul of my whole workspace and desk space. So instead, I will just share with you the new setup that I've been working on. So from one Midori Traveler's Notebook, I've actually now developed my whole system into three specific notebooks. And in this video, I will share with you my new setup. So actually, this isn't a new video. Um, this has been on my archives for quite some time. And I've already ironed out the kinks. But anyway, just for purposes of having a reference of my progress and how my traveler's notebook and system evolved throughout the year. Um, I'm putting this up and for people who are wanting to start their traveler's notebook journey, well, I hope you can pick something up from here. So I have three and each of them has a purpose. I will go through each one. I have the Black Midori, the Black Traveler's Notebook, is my before. This little one, my passport size and candle, is my current. And I have made my chocolate brown into an after. So, so I'll begin with my before. Let's put this aside. So my before is my planner. So you'll find that I chose black for it since it's more professional so I can lug it around in school or maybe in client meetings in the future and I will and it will look really sleek so check for professionalism check that's why I use black so when you open it up um, all of my plan all of my travelers notebooks have this um, plastic zip insert so I have uh, the one that has a zip on the back and the one that has pockets on the front and I have my stencils right here so I have four inserts inside. I have a, my bullet journal insert, my life log, and my uni notes. So they're, the uni notes are relatively blank at the moment. Uh, my bullet journal, I've only started doing bullet journal for a couple of weeks and so far it's been working out. So yeah, so I have a bullet journal insert and a life log. My life log is personal notes, thoughts, and plans. Yeah. So this is the before. So all my planning, all the planning in my head for things that are yet to happen are in this black journal. So as you can see, I have my sticker dots and my monthly dates for my bullet journaling all up in here. And yeah, that's basically it for my before. So now let's move into my current wallet, my current traveler's notebook. So I'm using it as a wallet and it's still not that flawless, but I'll share it with you anyway. My system's not flawless. Anyway, so I have the zip pocket I usually have right here I put in the loose change or cash in here and then I have my monthly tracker I have my list notebook and I have my um, my goal financial planner notebook and I have um, I put my receipts in here and imported receipts tracking numbers in here and my card at the back so I put in this little washi tape just so that they don't come off. But I read the blog somewhere that you have to put at least three cards just to secure them. So I wouldn't be needing the washi tapes, but I'll get into that later. Anyway, um, my monthly tracker is basically a monthly spread with my key, similar to bullet journaling. And I just put in all my expenses, you know, just for example, for the month of June, things the incoming ones and the outgoing ones what I spent on that day just to know how much is coming in and how much is going out 
and then basically oh here i am again saying basically and for my list notebook or list insert i just put in grocery stuff and random notes and thoughts so this one's relatively new and it only has my recent grocery list as i've said i just recently moved into this one anyway so I have my financial goal in this insert. I have my financial goals, payables, my monthly tracker, my monthly tracker. But unlike this one that gives you a monthly overview of the spendings, here I go into the detail of what I'm gonna spend for, what I'm saving up for. So yeah, this baby is the one that I use the well not use the most. Uh, this baby is my most exposed one on YouTube since it's the one that I usually use for my plan with me process videos. So again, I have my plastic zip block insert and I have a total of one, two, three, three inserts on this one. My first insert is the number 12. It's the Midori sketchbook insert. So I've since moved on to this one. If you've watched my flip through for my flip through for the first quarter of this year, um, you'd know that I I have this one. So it's kind of full. Um, all the pages have, have been taken up, so I have moved into this one just recently. So I only have like a couple of entries on on here. Yeah, but this one's better since it's um, it's actually thick sketchbook paper that can hold watercolor better. So just in com for comparison, um, there is less warping on this one compared to. My watercolor artwork in this one and this one has this one even has more layers on it so and it's really thick and yeah you're very familiar with this one if you've been watching my other videos so i'm gonna have a flip through of my second quarter by the end of june so watch out for that one and my fi the final one is my journal so it's for events or things that happen like my exam my last exams so as you can see th um, these two inserts are still empty since I've just set up everything a couple of weeks ago and so far I feel really good about the whole setup just ironing out some kinks so yeah, here, so this is my stack of MTN, so my before, my current, and my after. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching, I hope you like what you just saw, and if you have any questions again, if you want to, if you want me to make a video that discusses the details of each system that I have, I'd love to. Just comment below on what you'd like to know more about and hopefully I could answer that next time. Thanks for watching. See ya.